Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshops and exercises to learn about AWS services. Um, these workshops and exercises are published to our website, aws-dozo.com, and you implement different scenarios using those workshops and exercises, and when doing so, you learn about AWS services. So today, we are going to talk about one of the very important feature of AWS Lambda that's called Lambda Destinations, okay? So let's talk about it. So what is Lambda Destination? When you are executing Lambda in a, in an asynchronous manner, that means when you trigger the Lambda and then you forgot about that, uh, it's very it becomes very important to find out whether your Lambda execution was successful or it failed. Uh, and you want to handle your success and fail for different purposes. For instance, you want to ha uh, handle success of the Lambda function uh, just to see if the Lambda has succeeded or, succeeded or not uh, at the basic label, uh, but then also you might want to see the result of the outcome. Uh, or the what output came out of it. Uh, similarly, uh, when you're talking about uh, tracking the failed lambda, you want to understand how many lambda failed, and you want to see the execution result of the failed lambda so that you can uh, retry it. Um, okay. So because you're running lambda in asynchronous manner and you have no visibility, it's happening behind the scene in the background, and you have no visibility unless you really configure your Lambda function uh, to track their success and uh, failures. And that's where Lambda destination comes to help. Because in using Lambda destination, you can configure your Lambda successful and failed execution to be, uh, to be published, to be routed to certain services. So as of today, uh, if your Lambda uh, function uh, success, uh, success, successfully completes the execution, or if it fails, you can publish the execution result uh, into another Lambda function, or to uh, SNS, or to uh, SQSQ, or to Event Bridge. Uh, so there are four destinations right now which you can configure as Lambda destination uh, to route uh, the execution results for both successful and failed execution. So it's very important, guys, that whenever you are trying to configure a Lambda in a synchronous manner, you configure Lambda destination so that you have uh, you have a track of your Lambda execution result uh, end of day. So this is what we are going to learn today. And the scenario which we are going to build today to learn it is that we will configure a Lambda function which uh, which will call uh, through um, which will execute in an asynchronous manner uh, by publishing a message to a SMS topic. So we'll publish a message to an SMS topic, and then Lambda is one of the subscriber to this topic, and and that will result into a synchronous call to Lambda. Then we'll configure Lambda in such a way that for certain workloads or certain certain messages to the topic, it will fail. For certain, it will pass. Uh, so Lambda will sometimes fail, sometimes pass, uh, and then when it happens, uh, your successful uh, uh, execution results go to uh, uh, SQS queue called success queue, and your failed execution results go to uh, another queue. So you can configure your destination in many ways, but in this case, I'm using queue to show you how the destination works. So let's let's start building this. In order to build uh, this scenario, we have an exercise which we have published to our website, aws-dozo.com. And when we go to this exercise, uh, you can see it provides uh, detailed step-by-step -step instructions uh, to complete the whole scenario. And when you do so, you learn about using AWS uh, Lambda destination. So you can do this exercise at your own pace. Uh, we have provided the URL of this exercise in the description box below. Uh, but let me walk you through the steps of the exercise uh, in the remaining part of the video. 
So uh, this is our website, aws-dojo.com, and, and this is the exercise uh, which we are going to use today. I, I explained the scenario earlier, so let's go through the steps. Uh, the first step is uh, obviously you need to have an AWS account in order to complete this uh, scenario. Uh, and if you don't have any, any account, you can use this link to go and create a trial account for yourself. The next step is to create a Lambda function. And we are creating a Lambda function with the name uh, AWS, uh, AWS uh, um, uh, Lambda role, sorry, Dojo Lambda role. Uh, and we need this role because uh, Lambda is going to uh, you know, call many other services in order to uh, publish the successful or error messages. Uh, and for that, Lambda needs to be authorized. So we will create Lambda with uh, this role so that uh, using the permissions of this role, the Lambda functions can call other AWS services to complete the whole scenario, okay? So we create first the Lambda role, which is used by the Lambda function. Uh, then next we create queues. And, and we create two queues here, success queue and fail queue, uh, failure queue. And uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the scenario, that if Lambda execution is successful, it will go, uh, the, the execution result will go to success queue. And if the Lambda uh, function failed, uh, then it will send the execution result to failed queue. Okay, or failure queue. So create standard queue just like that. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. After that, you create Lambda function. So here we are creating the Lambda function. Uh, we, we, we are creating Lambda function with run time, uh, Python runtime uh, 3.a. Um, and then, uh, we select uh, Dojo Lambda role, which we created earlier, so that um, a Lambda function can use this role permission for the authorization. And once this Lambda function is created, we go to designer section. And here you can see that you can add your trigger. Uh, that means the way this Lambda function can be asynchronous called, or you can add destination here. So we are going to add destination at this point of time. So we click on this add destination. It opens up a page where you can configure destination. And we are saying we are configuring this destination for asynchronous indication of the Lambda function. First, we are configuring for failure uh, of the Lambda function. And if the, if the Lambda function fails, then you want to send the execution result to a failure queue. Yeah, simple. Uh, similarly, we add one destination for successful execution. Uh, again, if uh, asynchronous indication and if Lambda function succeeds, then you send the execution result to uh, your success queue. So now your destinations, uh, both destinations are configured, uh, one for fail, one for success. In fact, you can configure more than one success and fail, uh, fail uh, destinations as well, just in case if you want to fan out your messages to more than one uh, no, places for various processing. Now we are going to configure the Lambda code. So this is the Lambda code we are writing here. Uh, so what happens is that when the uh, when when this Lambda function will be triggered by publishing a message to uh, an, uh, a simple notification service topic, SMS topic. Uh, so uh, we will uh, uh, we will pass two types of messages here. One message will be called success message as a workload uh, or payload, not workload payload. Uh, and other will be yeah anything else than successful. And if if the payload comes as success, then we simply want to result uh, want to return one as a result. But if uh, this message is other than success, uh, then in that case we try to divide one by zero so that it 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 throws an error that you're trying to divide uh, by zero and the lambda function uh, fails. So you can see here we are we are written uh, code in such a way that based on what message get published from the topic, lambda function will either pass or fail. Okay. Um, in actual uh, in actual production environment, lambda function can fail by one of this kind of error, or it can fail because lambda function does not have uh, enough resource at that point of time, or authorization failed. Uh, failing can happen in many ways, but in this case, we are trying to simulate the failing by simply calling, uh, by, by simply dividing one by zero so that it throws an error, okay? So once we have configured the code of the Lambda function, uh, you can see here, uh, we simply save the Lambda function. So Lambda function is ready. 
Now we need to configure the simple notification uh, uh, service topic, uh, which uh, then we use to call a Lambda function in asynchronous manner. So we simply go and create a topic. We give the name uh, topic name Dojo topic. Once topic is created, we go and create a subscription for this topic. And the subscri for subscription, we choose uh, Lambda as a protocol. And we simply say, uh, no, this is the Dojo Lambda, which we want to call if any message get published to this topic. OK, uh, then uh, you move ahead. Uh, and if you find that if, if you are not aware of how simple notification service works, just message me in uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, I will create a, a, a workshop for that as well. So moving on, uh, here we go to a simple notification service. Uh, we have added the topic. Now um, your, your topic and your subscription both are ready. So now we try to invoke the Lambda function and to invoke the Lambda function in an asynchronous manner, what you will do, you will publish a message to this topic, uh, SNS topic. So uh, in first case, we are uh, we are calling success, we are passing, uh, we are, we are uh, publishing the message success. And if you remember the code, the code is written in such a way that if the payload from the SNS topic comes as a success, then it will return the value of one. And if it is value other than success, then it will try to divide one by zero to create the fail of the lambda function by uh, now by the error uh, saying uh, no you're trying to divide by zero. So first you uh, pass success as a payload and you publish it, uh, publish the message. So message get published. Then you go uh, go back and again publish another message saying uh, with the say error message uh, with the message as error. So once we published with message success. Then we publish this message error uh, so that one time it succeeds uh, and other time the Lambda function fails. So in both cases, your Lambda function will be called. It will once fail, once succeed. And that you can verify. So if you go to SQS queue now, where you have got your failed queue and success queue, you can see that one message has been published to each of this queue because by calling method two times with two different messages earlier, we have made sure may have we have make sure that lambda at least succeed once and fails at the time okay now if i go to this queue and try to pull the messages try to see the message then you can see here this is the success message and uh, it is quite a big message because it gives a lot of context about but i have taken a small snapshot of this message over here and you can uh, especially showing the response part and you can see that it's saying that hey this has been successful and we got return one as a you know, response payload. But if you go and see the uh, failed message, and, and if you go, by the way, uh, go when you do this exercise, you will see the whole message body and you have a lot other information which you can really use to you know, uh, do many other things. Uh, similarly, if you can go and see the failed message, message uh, you can see that uh, your response payload uh, has given an error. We are saying, hey, you're trying to divide by zero which is what we are trying to do. We try to do with our function. So it has failed with the same region we try to simulate in our uh, function. Again, uh, if you see the failed message, you can see a lot more information. And, and with that information, uh, actually, you can create a workflow to recall this Lambda function again. OK, uh, so that very much finishes the exercise where you saw we created a Lambda function, which uh, then was uh, uh, called two times, one uh, time to succeed, one time to fail. And we saw how the execution results were then routed to two different queues uh, as a destination. Now, once you have done the exercise, I strongly recommend that you go and clean up your resources so that you don't incur any cost uh, post, this post this exercise. So what you need to do is simply go and delete both queues, delete the topic, delete the Lambda function, and delete the Lambda role. And once you do that, your account is has reset back to uh, where you started, and you will not incur any further cost uh, post this exercise. So similar to this exercise, uh, and I hope you like this exercise, by the way. Uh, similar to this exercise, there are many other workshops and exercises which you can use on our uh, on our website, and you can implement similar scenarios uh, to um, yeah, similar scenarios to uh, to learn about AWS services.
if you have any feedback or comment or if you have any uh, any uh, request for new content you can either send that message to our youtube channel or you can also send that message through this contact uh, contact us uh, us page okay uh, hope you like this video and if you do uh, please click on the like button uh, and please subscribe to our channel uh, so that you come to know about uh, know um, such exercises and workshop uh, in the coming days we try to publish at least one or two uh, workshop or exercises uh, every week and yeah uh, please keep following us so that uh, no you you learn about new services all the time every week uh, okay hope you like it uh, thank you very much for your time have a nice day bye bye